Now, the big story at number two that we are tracking today, a five-member team of doctors began the autopsy of popular Punjabi singer Sidhu Musewala, also Congress leader, today. That is a day after he was shot dead in Punjab's Mansa district. Now, top sources have informed Mirror now that at least two dozen entry and exit bullets wounds, uh, in fact, were found on Musewala's body. And it is also believed that excessive bleeding could have resulted in his death. Now, earlier, following a joint operation of Uttarakhand STF, Punjab STF and also the Punjab police uh, detained six people from Dehradun in connection with Musewala's murder case. Sources also tell us that 14 people in all have been detained by the Punjab cops so far. In fact, the Moga police have also recovered the white Alto car in Dharmkot. This was the vehicle in which the shooters of the singer had in fact fled. Now, condemning the singer's death earlier, Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan had announced that a judicial commission under the chairmanship of a sitting judge of the Punjab and Haryana High Court would be set up to probe this murder. पंजाब की कानून व्यवस्था हाशिए पर पहुंच चुकी है मुख्यमंत्री व्यस्त हैं केजरीवाल साहब के इर्द-गिर्द परिक्रमा करने में यहां व्यस्त हैं हिमाचल व गुजरात के प्रवास में 16 वारदातें हो चुकी 16 हत्याएं हो चुकी हैं मैं समझता हूं पिछले 70 दिन का जो उनका सरकार है वो काले दिन है इट्स बीन अबाउट 75 डेज सिंस दिस गवर्नमेंट हैज बीन इन ऑफिस एंड देयर हैव बीन अ सीरीज ऑफ अनफॉर्चूनेट इंसिडेंट्स बिगिनिंग विद द किलिंग ऑफ सर्टेन कबड्डी प्लेयर्स थ्री कबड्डी प्लेयर्स देन देयर वाज द अटैक ऑन द हेड क्वार्टर्स of the Punjab intelligence in Mohali. And now you have the unfortunate killing of uh, Siddhu Musewala, who was a very popular Punjabi singer and was the Congress candidate from Mansa. And now you've had this unfortunate incident of a uh, assistant sub-inspector being attacked in Jalandhar. Uh, it's obvious that uh, somebody is trying to test the red lines of the new government. Sarkar bhi hoki shorat kamaan vaste. बिना कोई परिक्रिया नो फॉलो की थे किसे दी सिक्योरिटी विड्रॉ करनी या कटानी ते फिर शाबाशी लैन वासे सोशल मीडिया चे उस खबर नो फैलाना सिद्धे तरीके दे नाल उस इंसान दी जान नो खतरे विच पहुंच दी एक गाल बंदी हैगी एक बात से अपा देखिया कि अकाल तक साफ दी जथेदार साफ दी भी सिंह साफ दी सिक्योरि� असी असी पंजाब दे गनमेन रागव चड्डे वर्गे कोल मुख्यमंत्री साहब खुद दे कोल इना सारे यानी सिक्योरिटी वधा के जिन्ना दी कटाई है कटको कंट पंजाब दे लोकानी दा सिक्योरिटी वधनी चाहिए ते कल दा दुखदाई कटना दा सिद्धा कारण आ हैगा my colleague Bhavtosh now joins me live on the broadcast. Bhavtosh, so many updates in this particular story that we've been getting. And of course, Times Network has managed to access that autopsy report also that tells a gruesome story. Just take us through all the updates and all the detentions that we've uh, been speaking to our viewers. About 14, I believe, have been detained so far by the Punjab police. Yes, Kriha, it's a very complicated case as uh, we have been telling our viewers uh, since uh, last evening when this gruesome crime happened. And uh, those who in fact track uh, crime in Punjab and also terrorism in Punjab, uh, uh, what they are saying is that uh, those who have been detained uh, by Punjab police or for that matter even by Uttarakhand uh, police are the minor players who could have provided lo uh, logistical support. What we should have uh, been looking at is the persons who fired the shots and who had in fact killed uh, uh, Sidhu Musewala. Now that's a different matter altogether because Punjab police is very silent as to who really killed uh, Sidhu Musewala because uh, the owner
Yunus in this case was quickly taken by uh, Goldie Barad because uh, he is part of a gang that consists of Lawrence Bishnoi. Remember, Lawrence Bishnoi is behind bars because he he is someone who has been uh, lodged for a very long time uh, inside Tihar Jail. He operates from uh, various prisons in Delhi and Rajasthan, and he quickly, as soon as this uh, crime happened, he moved an application in the court saying that if he is taken to custody by Punjab police, then uh, court should ensure that he is not killed in a fake encounter. And and as uh, we have been telling our viewers that. Uh, Goldie Barar then uh, through a Facebook post said that he is responsible for this crime. So one must understand that these gangs know uh, how to operate because they also know that they will be under scanner. Having said that, uh, this is a better fallout of a ra rivalry that exists in uh, music industry in Punjab. Because turnout of uh, music industry in uh, Punjab, revenue turnout is very huge. Uh, there is no music studio per se, but, uh, but the fact remains that uh, singers release uh, their uh, songs on on, uh, social media and they make a huge profit. Now, Sidhu Musewala had a bitter rivalry with uh, Vicky Medukheda. Vicky Medukheda was killed uh, in Mohali and subsequent to that, uh, there were sharpshooters who were arrested by the Delhi police. Now, these sharpshooters belong to another set of uh, gangsters who were allegedly clo uh, close to Sidhu Musewala camp. And then uh, there was a planning that was done by Lawrence Vishnoi gang. Uh, this planning was done in a manner in which Lawrence Bishnoi name never comes out in open or even if it comes out in open, he can't stand trial. Now, that's what people are saying, that uh, gangsters uh, have now entered not only in the music industry, but also in Kabaddi, which is a playing field of Punjab, which also has a very huge revenue model. Also, Bhavtosh, we are hearing that more and more singers are getting this threat, uh, you know, for their life. And this is also that, uh, you know, in fragmented portions, this is also continuously rearing its ugly head that there are more and more threats for all the singers and many singers who are very, very popular, especially in the state. Yes, Kriya, it's a known fact that uh, singers uh, in Punjab, uh, they operate uh, with their managers. Uh, it's a very loose uh, group uh, as far as singers in Punjab are, con uh, are considered. And uh, the very fact that they have access to social media have made them very popular. Now, old timers who have been tracking these uh, criminals mm. and gangsters who now have uh, affiliation to various terror groups, what they have said is that uh, what happened in uh, Mumbai or uh, the then uh, Bombay, uh, the gangsters have entered into picture. Uh, they know that uh, money is uh, is flowing uh, very fast. There's a huge uh, revenue uh, that they can uh, virtually usurp. And that's where uh, gangsters, um, singers, uh, players, they all collide with each other. And that's what we have been seeing in Punjab, not only this year, but for past many years. Uh, rivalry are settled uh, on the streets and uh, gangsters are virtually calling the shots. And this is not an isolated incident. And as you rightly said, that uh, some singers have already received a threat. Even in this case, a manager of, uh, of a very popular uh, singer, he is under the scanner and his name uh, has already been shared by the Delhi police with Punjab police. Uh, Manpreet Aulak, uh, he is the manager, uh, his manager Sanjay, uh, he is said to be a suspect in this case. And it could be possible that both Punjab police as well as Delhi police will soon call him for questioning. And uh, the interrogation of uh, Shah Rukh, his integration revealed the name of Aulak's uh, 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 manager. He, in fact, was part of the larger conspiracy to, uh, uh, to kill uh, Sidhu Musewala. All right. Thank you, Bhavtosh, uh, for all those uh, updates. Uh, this continues to develop even as we speak. More and more people and their names continue to spring up. In this case, Manpreet Aulak's manager uh, to be called in for questioning. That's what uh, Bhavtosh is bringing to us. In fact, we will continue to track in all the developments on this story as well. However, I'm now joined on the broadcast by two very, very special guests. Uh, Rabi Shergil is joining me on the broadcast and also joining me is Jaspinder Narula. Uh, thank you so much for or actually, uh, you know, being a part of this conversation. It's a very, very unfortunate event uh, because of which we are actually talking and the considering threat that uh, my colleague Bhavtosh was just mentioning. That is something that uh, both uh, I want you, Rabi, and also Jaspinder to talk about this growing threat on singers in the state of Punjab. I'll start with you, Rabi. Uh, well, first and foremost, uh... My deepest condolences to um, Sidhu Musewala's family. Um, um, somebody at the peak of his powers uh, shouldn't be cut down like this. It's really sad. It's heartbreaking. 
and it sends um, shivers down the spine of anyone who's uh, lived through uh, the dark years uh, of 85 to 92 when militancy was at its peak. And um, I personally had um, some experience with that. And um, all of these um, send, um, you know, really, really dark signals to um, all of us Punjabis, uh, whether uh, living inside yeah, of Punjab or outside of Punjab. Mm. <clears throat> it's, um, it's, it's extremely sad and it's heartbreaking and words leave me. Did you, did you know Sidhu Musawala personally? No, I didn't. I know of him. Um, I, I don't live in Punjab. I'm, mm -hmm. I live outside of Punjab. But uh, I know of his songs. He's had some uh, mercurial success over the last uh, seven, eight years. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. it seemed like he had his uh, hand on the pulse of uh, the people. And it's, uh, I know how that feels. And it was, uh, I'm sure he had a, a magical experience while he lived. But uh, the way it's been cut short is... Uh, mm -hmm. Um, it beggars belief. Absolutely. Jaswinder, I'll ask the same question to you. Uh, the fact that, you know, more and more threats are coming to singers, especially from the state of Punjab, this actually, one, talks about the law and order in the state and also so much of talk about how just a day after his security was withdrawn is when he ended up dying, being killed like that. And now that we were also talking about the autopsy report, also talks about how gruesome this killing was. Yeah, this is actually, the timing was such, uh, you know, if we talk about, this was just, you know, a wrong time, you know, like it was just a day before that was uh, taken away, the security, and this just happened. I It can be a coincidence. It can be, you know, like you can say that people who wanted to do it it was all plotted and they they were after him and now they got a chance you know because the security was not there and they they probably knew about it or you know uh, just you know we can only speculate these things i don't know we we just we just can't we can't be sure of uh, you know the only thing is that it's devastating hmm. that a person goes like this you know and this guy was doing very well last few years he did he did really he had a big fan following and uh, did very good for himself which is really um, not that i uh, not, i know of him or i i knew him personally i've not worked with him but uh, whatever i heard you know in my industry that this guy was doing really well and this uh, it's it's really heartbreaking. But just when they're talking know. about the industry, especially the music industry in Punjab, uh, you know, I would just uh, you know take your attention to what my colleague Bhavtosh was just about mentioning that this internal rivalry between singers, because here in this case there could be a possible suspect in another singer's manager. Obviously, these are developing uh, you know uh, information which we will have uh, still to pin down on. But all these reports yes. are also coming in. The gang war, the yeah. rivalry. Is yeah, this I'm, very, I'm, I'm very shocked. prevalent in Punjab? Yeah, I'm really shocked because, uh, uh, see, I have been singing for the last uh, 48 years. My whole family has been in music. My dad, my mom, everybody. And I have lived in the music industry myself. And uh, I have grown in, you know, this Punjabi industry. And there was nothing, uh, nothing like that. And uh, there was no security that was needed. And uh, singers were uh, entertaining people. They were getting paid and, you know, getting all that respect and, uh, you know, that regard and love and everything from their fans and, you know. But all of a sudden, this big change because of, uh, you know, over the years, like I've been always saying that, you know, the industry, the, uh, you know, the lyrics, especially, they really work on you, you know. Uh, somebody has to really see to it that there should be some kind of, uh, you know, censor board, which should, uh, you know, uh, see that, you know, these kind of things, you know, these vulgar vulgarity, the videos, the, the songs, the words, mm. you know, 
and then the music is made so it's not the music it's it's the words that you know they really work on you so i think i think somebody really should look into it you know we all should look into it and only right. not one person right. will will you know can mm. change the whole industry but we all have to get together and like uh, my all other colleagues they are they have not sung anything like rabi himself mm-hmm. has been singing uh, very nice and you know uh, uh, devotional you know and uh, very uh, uh, sufi kind of music so you know we so, okay let me ask you God both grace. of you here that do you think in this day and age we're talking about uh, you know we we colloquially call them the gen z of uh, you know the singing generation obviously many have attained an instant success because of social media musewala story would not be true in this regard however a lot of detractors might just say that do you think that with that instant and easy and uh, you know a, a huge success there is also an attraction to this violence which obviously has happened in the case of uh, sidhu musewala rabi do you feel so that from that generation where you guys started out to now things have become very very volatile um uh, there's a complex of factors here um when i was singing or when jispinder didi was singing she's my senior at school so um so i have to um you know uh, jasminder ji satshikal and uh, you know satshikal satshikal rabbi god bless you god bless you. Yeah. so um, see this kind of relation this kind of relation that we have rabbi so and yeah. and i'm talking of that relation such a beautiful relation that we all singers have and you know our families were also uh, you know they knew each other and you know our parents you know everybody knew my dad you know all respect and so we never had this kind of problem rabi you can please you can take on yeah i'll yeah. I'll, i'll come to that see uh, when uh, i started singing uh, there was this uh, um this person in most record labels he was called the a and r manager he was the artist in repertoire so and we all hated him um because uh, we felt he was a fuddy duddy and he just didn't understand the new kids on the block and we felt it um but he was doing the service he was uh, uh, he was being the taste maker he was being the gatekeeper and good or bad he would only let in what he felt was um, good music so those days um you couldn't just slip in um, uh, any contentious material you couldn't um i cannot even imagine the kind of uh, lyrics we hear on radio these days making it through that system um just when the ji you know she was um, um her father and all the other um, uh, arrangement around her mm. i think they would have seen to that that uh, there was no way that any any um, you know bizarre that it could ever uh, slip in so there was right. a, a gatekeeper a, a sort of a security net um with the self, with the advent of self publishing with you know where where people would just uh, make a song mm. uh, shoot a video and just put it up on youtube and um, they were answerable to no one um that has a really um i think in many ways caused the degeneration of uh, of music it set the bar very really low um i mean um, a few years ago there were uh, there were words with um, uh, genitalia uh, and all of them um running into um, millions of hits and i said mm. really is this uh, i mean um my understanding of punjabi music was um, i said no man this isn't going to work and <laughs> when that started working mm. for a while i had a crisis of faith in punjabi culture i said this can work are these guys going to uh, rule the roost now and um, uh you know uh, it comes all down to a a question that most artists need to ask themselves uh, have i uh, made the culture healthier or have i caused it some um, you know uh, oh absolutely in fact very important point that uh, rabi you're making and i'd like to leave it at that self censorship the the onus is now with the artist and because of it it is the artist who's deciding how much is too much or whether it is or not that censorship possibly is not there and because of which these rivalries are also <laughs> growing and because of which possibly you know this particular murder has happened we are yet to actually ascertain all the details which are to do with this story however thank you so much 
both uh, Jaspinder Narula and Rabi Shergil for joining me on the broadcast. We'll continue this conversation uh, at another time, of course, uh, where we have more time. Right now, I have to go back to the news story that we are tracking on the broadcast. Another important update that we are getting on uh, the Sidhu Musiwala story. Now, according to the Delhi police sources, the special cell of Delhi police has began questioning gangster Lawrence Bishnoi as, at Tihar jail. And of course, this is in connection with Sidhu Musewala's murder case today. Earlier, Lawrence Bishnoi also knocked on the doors of Patiala High Court in Delhi, suspecting fake encounter by the Punjab police. And he will now be moving the Delhi High Court tomorrow. Those, these are uh, fresh updates that we are bringing to our viewers uh, on this. Uh, I'm joined on the broadcast by my colleague Nilashish. Nilashish, Lawrence Bishnoi now uh, to be going to the Delhi High Court after the Patiala High Court did not uh, uh, really uh, throw any merit to his argument, a fake encounter uh, uh, by the Punjab police. That is what he said that he's suspecting. Now he's all set to move the High Court. Also, just take our viewers through, uh, you know, this questioning that has happened uh, that uh, the special cell of Delhi police has done when it comes to Lawrence uh, Bishnoi. Well, as far as uh, Lawrence Bishnoi is, is uh, concerned, he moved the NIA court in Patiala House in New Delhi, uh, uh, saying that he suspected and apprehended uh, a fake encounter on part of the Punjab police. And given the fact that uh, he has a case already running against him in Delhi, uh, as far as Makoka is concerned, which uh, in a way uh, has alleged that uh, he runs... Uh, an interstate uh, crime syndicate. In that case, the trial is pending, and he has stated that uh, there are various states that have uh, sought a production warrant of him, and that compromises uh, his uh, trial before uh, the Delhi court. In uh, light of that, and in light of uh, him being a suspect in the Sidhu Musewala killing case, uh, he has stated that... Uh, he needs protection, and as far as his application is concerned, he has asked that the NIA court uh, be informed whenever uh, the Punjab police uh, seeks a production of, uh, of him and uh, comes with a production warrant. And he has also sought that uh, the NIA court, uh, in fact, uh, ensure that custody of him, his physical custody, is not given to the Punjab police uh, till the time his Makoka case is decided. Of course, uh, the Delhi court did not pass any order as such. It uh, did state that the matter is one of state security. And also, as far as uh, Bishnoi's case is concerned, his application is concerned, there is no uh, production warrant before the court as of now. So uh, the court mm -hmm. refused to pass any order. But what we do okay. expect uh, tomorrow is that uh, Bishnoi will be moving the Delhi High Court, seeking a specific protection as far as uh, Sidhu Musewala's death case is concerned, if and when uh, the Punjab police seeks any sort of production warrant against him. All right, Nilashi, thank you so much for joining me with all those details.